Dramatic confrontation in a Cleveland courtroom. Michelle Knight coming face to face with the man who held her captive for more than a decade, letting him know she is taking her life back. ABC's Alex Perez is in Cleveland with all of those details. Everyone was riveted to that courtroom, Alex. Absolutely. Good morning to you, Amy. Ariel Castro is waking up in isolation before he is eventually moved to a prison. Now, Michelle Knight is tiny, so small her rescuers initially thought she was a child. But in court, she stood tall like a tower of strength. This morning, Ariel Castro is waking up locked in a prison cell for life. A fate one of the women he locked up for 11 long years described as fitting. Death penalty, penalty will be so much easier. You don't deserve that. You deserve to spend life in prison. I can forgive you, but I'll never forget. In court Thursday, Michelle Knight bravely confronted the man who tormented her, never looking at Castro, but describing to him the misery she survived. Days never got shorter. Days turned into nights. Nights turned into days. Years turned into eternity. Nobody should ever have to go through what I went through or anybody else, not even the worst enemy. Knight also talked about the friendships she, Amanda Berry, and Gina de Jesus forged to stay hopeful. Gina was my team teammate. She never let me fall. I never let her fall. She nursed me back to health when I was dying from his abuse. My friendship with her is the only thing that was good out of this situation. We said we will someday make it out alive. And we did. Even as she shed tears, her strength before her captor never wavered. Writing this statement gave, gave me the strength to be a stronger woman and know that there's good, there's more good than evil. After 11 years, I am finally being heard and it's liberating. Barry and the Jesus, the other women Castro held captive, were not in court, but their family members were. For more than four hours, prosecutors laid out the gruesome details of how Castro tortured the women. And then he spoke, delivering a rambling, almost delusional 16-minute statement, saying he was not a monster. We had a lot of harm going on in that home. But the judge made it clear he wasn't buying that story. I'm not sure there's anybody else in America that will agree with you. And handed down Castro's sentence, life in prison without parole, plus 1,000 years. The women and their family members also talked a lot about their future. They say they want to go to college. They say they want to travel the world. They say they won't let this whole ordeal stop them from living.